Last video, we went over regular wall jumping, so make sure that you can do that first before attempting what I show you in this video, where I will explain, demonstrate, and provide tips on how to perform wall jumping on objects you normally wouldn't be able to wall bounce on. For my keybinds, I bound mouse wheel up to move forward so that I can tap strafe, and I bound mouse wheel down to jump. With a regular wall jump, when you make contact with the wall, you jump again to perform the wall jump. But here that doesn't work because your character tries to vault up the object or climb it. So we need to cancel that vault by pressing one of these three keys before you hit the wall. Here's a demonstration of using each of the keys to cancel the vault and perform the wall jump. I won't be going into slow motion on these because running into a wall and performing a wall jump really isn't used often in game. I'll do the slow motion on a more useful example, like this horizontal wall jump example. Run at the wall at an angle, slide, jump, let go of W, and then hold the directional key. Look at the wall and jump when you make contact. You can keep holding the directional key or let it go at this point. Here it is in slow motion. It's a good rule of thumb to use the opposite key to the wall you're jumping off of. So if the wall is on the right, use A. If the wall is on the left, use D. You can use S, but in my opinion, it's easier and more intuitive to use A or D. Also, make sure that you're pressing the movement key just before you hit the wall. If you press it too early, you'll swing to the side and miss. If you press it too late, you won't wall bounce. When you're just starting out, I'd recommend practicing on these two walls here because it's just one small step down from this wall, which is great for regular wall jumping. Once you've practiced a bit, I recommend trying to hit the jumps on this ledge and jumping on top of the previous one. After that, just go around the range trying to find surfaces to test on. In the next video, I'll show you how to perform fatigue jumps, which are wall jumps where you don't need to slide.